Uh, but let's talk about, let's lead off with uh, your WrestleMania story. And I have some questions for you just based on what you think. And I was thinking about this because we had a discussion in some other places about last year's WrestleMania and how I think the majority of us thought that Cody was actually going to win the title last year. Then he didn't. And we were kind of wondering. And then it turns out that it's literally the best thing that that could have happened. Uh, I, think, long- I, I think I think I think. um I mean, it's the best thing for this year. We don't, you know, we don't know because it's possible Cody is champion rather than having a, a champion who was, you know, missing an action might have been better last year for business and probably would have been. But for this year's mania, still having that option for that match is probably better. However, on the flip side, um, the plan was rock. You know what I mean? I mean, it was originally Cody, of course. But, but, um, and when they beat him, it was Cody, but then the plan became rock and Cody later. So, um, you know, and, and rock would have been, you know, no matter what the year was rock would have been bigger. You know, I mean, when they made the decision a year ago, I mean, I don't know that they thought rock was, I mean, I, I know that when, um, when, when Dwayne turned down last year, okay. He said that he could be open for Philadelphia. I also know that at that point, and this is before, you know, uh, the ownership change and things like that, the general feeling was that, you know, that, that was the Los Angeles was the year, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, they've been wanting to do the match for years. He's been talking about the match for years. Didn't do Dallas because he wanted to do Los Angeles. Then Los Angeles came and went. And, you know, I'm sure he had his, his reasons for not doing it. Um, but they just figured that it's like, it's never going to happen. And then he came back and then wanted it. So that became it. And, uh, you know, and then everything changed again, you know, with, between injuries and other things, you know, um, the booking that they thought was going to work fell apart because they wanted to put, you know, cause punk got hurt and they wanted to put Cody in with Seth. And then that, you know, then they switched again because rock then wanted to be a heel because he figured if they're going to boo me, I'm going to play heel and we are where we are. Um, but I mean, with all of that, uh, I believe it's far better than either of those plans because now you got more longevity with rock than you would have had. I think with Roman, it would have been okay. You know, they'll do their match and, uh, you know, rock will put them over or not and maybe build one rematch, but whatever they would do, But, you know, it's that that's it for him. It's like now you got um, Rock and Cody singles match. You got Rock and Roman, you know, at some point Um, you got so many things, you know, with Cody. Um, You got Punk coming back. I mean, they're they're in far better shape right now than they would have been um, the way it looked or the way it was originally planned. Going with who Cody could face. Let's say he wins the title at WrestleMania and who is he going to face after you mentioned Roman uh, rock would be an interesting one for sure, but that's more like a a giant match, not necessarily like a program that's going to carry the house shows or anything. No, no, no. But, but the house shows aren't that important and he can always work on the house shows with, um, you know, Damien priest, Damien priest can cash in. Right. You know, and then he gets to, I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking who else, who else does he have? Which, lined which I would up? I would hate to do it because it would be that would hurt Cody. I think that they really, you know, I think Cody needs to have it for a while. Um, but there's there's guys, and you can you know flip some guys around, and and you can have you know somebody turn on him. You can have Seth. You know, yeah, that's that. There's an intriguing thing there if Seth turns on him at some point. Well, there, there, you, there are little even, little you, things that they're doing. You that. could even do babyface babyface if you don't want Seth to turn and just you know go with the story. Look. You know, um, I don't know, Seth, Seth, you know, if Seth loses the title, you know, and then there's Drew, you know, if um, title versus title and do a bunch of Gunther is out there. Gunther's Gunther's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Gunther's a good one. Um, I mean, I expect that um, Gunther will be moved up. You can flip solo over there. You know, there's many, many ways to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's going to be what I'm most interested in is. If Cody does finish this story, like 
what what's the next story that they that they oh do the next or, story the next story i think for him is rock yeah you know it's just a question of when you get to it yeah so yeah because it's you know sometimes in wrestling history the baby face finally tops the you know gets to the top of the mountain and then the fans go great we love the journey now you won and now what and they don't have things set up and in that that yeah 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 sting 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 1990 even warrior 1990 um you didn't have challengers set up well, and because of that, the reigns were not successful. And yeah, but but it's so much bigger now and in and, and, and more popular now. Mm-hmm. So um um I don't like I don't really I don't really see anything to worry about with WWE at all. I mean, even if it goes down 20%, 10% as far as you know, attendance and stuff, it's still it's still a really historically great period and and let's face it and they could go down 50 percent and they're fine because you know their money their money situation you can't they can't lose money literally for for years yeah i don't know though netflix may go uh okay five years is up we're getting out of this unless they maybe maybe yes maybe no but that's look no you know it's just five years yeah you know what i mean it's like wrestling wrestling traditionally goes from week to week you know how can you know five years five years we could be in a war five years you know what i mean there's no, we, you know, we there, could there, have a there, pandemic. We could have a pandemic. There could be new technology that comes up that makes it even bigger. It's like before, you know, yeah, you used, used to always try to be like 18 months ahead. That was always like kind of like my goal, 18 months ahead, right? I mean, and, and I don't even think you can go 18 months ahead now, maybe six or eight, but any more than that. But in wrestling, nobody ever went more than, you know, I think Vince Sr., you know, at times went a year and a half ahead. Um, but, um, you know, any other promoter, I think Vince at times probably went a year ahead mm-hmm. um, for, for certain matches. But generally speaking, you know, you were booking week to week or month to month. You know, most of the regular promoters, the Jerry Jarrett's, that's that's week to week booking. That ain't long term booking. You, you know? know, you were talking about technology and, you know, just things that change and the world changes. When pay-per-view was in the limited environment, you know, there was, oh, you know, they've but cleared. You had circuit, though. They've cleared 10 million homes or whatever. Like, was there this thought that, man, when they clear way more homes and they get this stuff out there, like wrestling's going to be, they're going to make so much money on this yes, stuff. Yes, even more. But you, but you, I mean, do you, well, you were younger though. I mean, I remember like, so pay-per-view really started being talked about, you know, 84-ish, right? And then mm-hmm. it started getting really big around... 85 86 by 87 we were started already starting to get answers that were surprising but i remember the idea of you know with pay-per-view you could go and watch you know the the there'll be a pay-per-view channel in san jose and we could watch san jose state women's volleyball and they'll have you know people sitting at home a thousand people will pay or two thousand people will pay or ten thousand people will pay you know five ten bucks and Oh my God, all these college sports, let alone your local sports team, this before you had the, the regional sports networks, they're going to be making a killing. And everybody went on pay-per-view and except for boxing and wrestling, I mean, concerts, I mean, Jesus Christ, you know, oh my God, Rolling Stone concerts or whoever, look at the money pay-per-view, but everybody failed on pay-per-view except for boxing, wrestling, and eventually, you know, MMA for the most part. I mean, you know, the first Olympic, you remember the, the first time they put the pay-per-view with the Olympics yeah. and it just completely bombed. 1992. Yeah. People just were stunned. So it didn't work out that way. And what we learned from pay-per-view is, is, you know, it was, um, at the time you needed, the feeling was, is you needed one-on-one real or fake competition with two people who trash talked each other and were built up on television, um, or built up in some form of media. And then they have a climactic bout and that, a few times a year you can't do it all the time and that's pay-per-view well you know in time um you know between wwf and wcw they just made these pay-per-views into these monthly things and the tradition took over to the point where it wasn't even the match it was the traditional name of the pay-per-view that that ended up like starcade um or whatever i mean it was like the, obviously wrestlemania you know it was the name that drew it wasn't even the attraction although obviously in the pay-per-view era, WrestleMania has varied greatly based on what the main event was. Now it's we're not even in the pay-per-view business; we're in the streaming um, business, where you know it's a it's a low price, and it's like 
this year's like yeah this year's wrestlemania there's a lot a lot a lot of interest in um cody rhodes's match and and you know, both nights um great level of interest however if they had nothing they were still going to do the biggest number of the year for wrestlemania because it is wrestlemania you know it and um so it's just you know that's just what it is hey if you love this clip have i got a deal for you wrestlingobserver.com they have a commute do you work out at the gym do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never You'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again 